Today's lesson is going to be a review of 2D shapes. We learned all about the different types of 2D shapes last week, so today we're just going to do a quick review of everything that you have learned. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is lines. It's important for us to talk about the lines because these help us identify the types of shapes and it also helps us talk about the attributes. Now if you remember from last week, an attribute is just a characteristic or something that the shape has that we use to identify it by. So first off we have parallel lines. Parallel lines are two lines that stay the same distance from each other and they will never ever ever intersect. They go on forever in both directions. You can see here. Next we have perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are two lines that cross at a point and formed 90 degree angles. So it's a perfect intersection of lines that forms some 90 degree angles in the corners. And we have intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are any two lines that cross at any point. So it doesn't have to be perfect like a perpendicular line. It's anywhere that it crosses. We also have these things called vertices. Vertices are points where two or more lines come together. It's also called corners on some types of polygons. So remember we said it's kind of like the elbow of the angle. So it's the point where the two lines meet. Next we're going to talk about angles. We have three types of angles and these angles help us when we're identifying triangles. We have an acute angle, which is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. We have an obtuse angle, which is an angle that is more than 90 degrees, but remember it's less than 120. And then we have the right angle, often characterized by the little box in the corner there. The right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. And my neat trick for you was that if you hold up your finger like an L, you hold it up to the angle, if the angle matches with your finger, then it is a right angle. If it is more than, the, than your fingers, then it is an obtuse angle. And if it's less than your fingers, it's an acute angle. So let's talk about triangles. We had two ways that we identified triangles. And we talked, first of all, we talked about tri identifying triangles by their sides. There are three identifications for triangles by their sides. First of all, we have equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles are triangles with three equal sides. So in an equilateral triangle all three of these sides are the same exact length. In an isosceles triangle two of the sides have the same length but the third one does not. So it's a little bit taller because the other two usually are longer. And then finally we have a scalene triangle it's a triangle with no equal sides. Okay, so let's talk about four-sided shapes. These four-sided shapes um, are called quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are any shapes with four sides, so you can see that we have a few of them here. We have this, 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 and this, and we'll go into the specifics for all of those things. So we're going to start with a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a shape that has two sets of equal and parallel lines. So we know that this short side and this short side are equal length and they're also parallel. And then this long side and this long side are equal length and they also are parallel. Alright, so moving on to more of our quadrilaterals, we have a rhombus. The rhombus has all four lines that are the same length and it has two sets of parallel lines so that means that these two are parallel and these two are parallel. We have a rectangle and a square so a rectangle contains two sets of parallel lines and two sets of equal sides. It also creates right angles in the corners because of this fancy word called perpendicular. The lines, as you'll notice, on the shape right here and right here intersect at a perpendicular line. So that means that it creates a right angle. It does that on all four of the corners. 
So these two sides are equal and they're also parallel, and these two sides are equal and they are also parallel. And then similar to a rectangle, we have a square. A square also has two sets of parallel lines, except the difference is that all four sides are the same length. And then also, same thing here, this word perpendicular, the lines in a square form a perpendicular line, so that's why it has a right angle in all of its corners. All right, so let's look at the difference between a regular and an irregular polygon. Remember we said that a regular polygon has all sides congruent. Now, congruent just means to, that all of the sides are the si same length. So looking at all these shapes that I have here, I can tell that all of these shapes are regular because all of the sides have the same length. In these shapes, some of the sides are long, some of the sides are short, some are long, some are short. It's a very irregular shape, so you can very easily tell that these are regular and irregular. Okay, so we have finished reviewing all the types of 2D shapes, go to the quiz on Canvas. I really hope that you get a 100, three out of three on that quiz because we have been practicing this for a week and it is not something new to you, so you should be experts on different types of polygons now.